February 1st, crude oil specifically up more than 9%. Well, some economists question if the demand calls for $85 a barrel oil. Other analysts are predicting we may once again see $100 oil before the end of the year. Our next guest is the CEO of Colorado-based Whiting Petroleum. He's in town for an oil and gas investment symposium. We welcome Jim Volker. So good to have you back on Taking Stock. Thank you, Carol. So, Jim, you're in town for this symposium. First of all, I've got to ask you, because the economic mood, the investment mood has certainly changed from a year ago. Talk to me about kind of what the major uh, mood is kind of at this event this year. Well, it's really upbeat uh, as a result of how strongly oil has responded right. to the increasing demand. As uh, I think you just mentioned, uh, the International Ed Energy Agency has recently increased its estimate of uh, oil use in the world right. uh, for 2010 to about uh, 86.5 million barrels a day, which is up almost 2%, uh, about 1.8% from last year. Use here in the United States is still down about 2 million barrels from what it was two years ago, but coming back uh, strongly, I believe, as is uh, demand in uh, the rest of the world. Jim, talk to me about supply demand because we have a lot of folks who say, yeah, this is what's going on with pricing, but there's an awful lot of supply specifically with the oil market. There's a lot of supply out there. True. True. Uh, the cover is uh, uh, roughly between 30 and 60 days, depending upon whether you're looking for uh, U.S. cover or worldwide cover. Right. Nevertheless, it looks like it's coming down uh, fairly sharply in uh, the first at the end of the first quarter, and demand will be back up. Surprised by that move in terms of it coming down? Well, since uh, Whiting is about 80% oil production, we're pleasantly surprised. I bet. Let me let me ask you about prices, because we were saying that there's some debate, $85 a barrel oil, some say $100 a barrel oil. We've seen oil move up almost 20% since early February. Where do you think the price is, let's say, six months from now, six to 12 months from now? Well, the, um, the futures. Uh, contracts which are out there and often called the 12 month strip are predicting about $88 a barrel for oil over the next 12 months right. and about $4.60 on natural gas and that's very close to Whiting's internal estimates. That's where you see it as well. Right. Hey, one thing I've got to ask you, I did see a headline earlier today about your 2010 uh, exploration drilling spending. They're talking about $830 million. Talk to me about how that compares with the last year or two. Last year was only about $480 million, so we're up sharply. Last year, even though uh, we cut our budget last year when oil fell to $35 a barrel uh, to about $480 million from $947 million right. the year earlier, we were nevertheless able to produce about a 16% increase in production and about a 15% increase in reserves. And we did that on the back of our discoveries in the Bakken. So organic North, growth here. Organic growth, all organic growth uh, in 2009. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, an even larger drilling budget and, in fact, uh, uh, increasing production in 2010. Do you feel like you're being conservative with this budget? I do in the sense that with oil where it is now, uh, it may be able to grow may be able to grow. Before the end of the year? Yes. Oh, interesting. So obviously, depending on how the, the global economy plays out, the U.S. economy specifically. Yes. Yeah, so just in general, what happens to oil prices? Oil right. prices uh, give us more cash flow. Jim, in terms of cash flow, um, we saw a lot of companies today in terms of their cash and stock doing some deals, a lot of them in the energy space. We talked about Sinopec buying Syncrude Stake, Dyncorp uh, being bought by Cerberus, uh, Mirant and RRI Energy combining. Your acquisition strategy, do you have any in place for this year? Anything that you think you need to do, would like to do? <laughs> well, that's always a uh, $64 question, Carol. And um, what's happened uh, to Whiting since we went public in 2003 is that... Uh, ah, we, we paid our energy bills, and hopefully the lights <laughs> will come on. <laughs> uh -huh. we, we first, uh, in 2004 and 2005, we invested about $1.8 billion into doing acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Since that time, we're at about uh, $2.4 billion okay. that we've used to grow with the drill bit. So organic growth is really the story at Whiting, right. uh, the higher returns that we're getting by drilling in the Bakken uh, are really the story behind Whiting. It's given us an opportunity to, I think, participate in really what is the best oil play I've seen in the United States in about the last 30 years. It's gotten a lot of play. I mean, we know Montana, North Dakota. I mean, right. is it paying off as you expected? Absolutely. Um, Every time we put the bit in the dirt up there in our Sanish field in North Dakota, mm -hmm. we feel we have the potential to uh, 
uh, have those wells return uh, between sort of three times at a low and perhaps seven or eight times at a high, the cost of drilling and completing those wells generally over about a 15-year period. So um, the IRRs that people typically talk about right. for the better wells are over 300 percent. The time to cash on cash payout right, is right. only about 12 months. So we get our money back in about a year. Right. And um, most importantly, since Whiting is a company that focuses on our net asset value per share, it allows us uh, per well in which we own 100 percent to add perhaps 15 to 18 million dollars to Whiting's net asset value with every well we drill up Which there. is terrific. Yeah, if you it's think really about great. It. You know, we talked about prices, Jim, earlier. And let me just ask you, because uh, some of what we're, we're talking about today is also China. There's, it's been in the focus a lot over the last um, week or so. China, in terms of prices, how does that kind of factor in and their demand? Well, China, as you know, um, has been predicted by the IEA to rise in their demand right. to 9 million barrels uh, this year. Uh, which is sharply up. It's about 400 to 500,000 barrels up from what it was uh, in 2009. Right. They're, they're still not at where the United States is, at about 18.6 million barrels a day, but demand is climbing. Uh, right. As you know, here in the United States, there's, uh, for every thousand people, about uh, 770 cars, and in um, China, there's only about 10 percent of that amount. Right. And so. everybody's kind of eyeing that in terms right. of how it plays out going forward. We're going to leave it there. Jim, thank you so much for taking time out. Glad we got uh, able some time to catch up with you. All the best, and thanks again. Same to you. Jim Volker, CEO of Whiting Petroleum.